All right, Scream Sceners, we are evacuating Florida right now as we speak. Now, by the time you guys probably see this vlog, this storm will probably have already passed by us. However, evacuation is a must in the area where we were staying, which we were staying with Alicia's dad, my father-in-law. Uh, my mom is moving from the hospital tomorrow. Uh, she's moving from the hospital into a rehab center, which is like a five-star resort. So I am very confident they are going to take great care of her. Actually, Alicia used to work there once upon a time ago, and she loved it. She said it was an amazing place, good people, clean, great food, great scenery, awesome rooms. But yeah, let me show you guys what the hell we're trying to beat right now. That's just a little taste of what it's looking like here today. It actually gets worse over there. And then it gets even worse over there. They just said some shit on the news that I've never heard in my lifetime. They said if you're in this one area, the storm surge is going to be over your head. I lived in Florida almost all my life up until two years ago. I never heard some shit like that before. That's scary. Alicia can't swim. Jace is learning how to swim. Anthony can't swim. Daddy Pooh definitely can't swim. I'm gonna have to save all these mofos. As I'm sitting here right now, there's a creepy, sketchy white car just, just casually over there, but then look right past it. Do you see that truck? way over there in the distance. Yeah, there was somebody standing outside of that with binoculars looking over here a minute ago. Were they a part of the org? Probably not, but I think it's freaking weird that I can't escape it even when I'm not rando nodding. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I just picked up from a seller that I met on the Facebook Marketplace. Uh, he had this Takashi 69 PSA DNA certified authentic autographed um, rare released Pokemon card. There was a very small run of this and it is signed by a rapper Takashi69, also known as Snitch9. Now, am I a fan of Takashi? His music's okay. Motherfucker Snitch though. But what I am a fan of is rare collectibles that are worth a lot of money. Money! So I picked it up from this for like $45. I stand to make about $200 from the card. He just didn't know what he had. Do, 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 do. Super Jody in for the win. Guys, we're trying to work our way out of Florida. We got to pull over to get some gas real quick, but they've boarded up the windows of this Circle K right here. And look at this, bro. Yo, what the hell? Like there's legit like nowhere to get freaking gas hardly. Oh, look, this guy's filling up right here at the pump. And the storm surge Holy is going to be shit. six to nine feet. They've just said that the storm surge is going to be six to nine feet. That's insane. Like, how the hell does something like that... How, how, how do you deal with something like that? Basically, people's homes, people, cars are going to be underwater. Well, just like that, guys. We pull away from the gas station and we end up right into a shit shower of Satan's piss. Yeah. Wow. And we got about 50 more miles on this stretch here. So hopefully it doesn't get worse than this. It's already kind of hard to see the road. In case you guys ever wondered what the capital looks like here in Tallahassee, Florida, the capital of Florida, uh, that's it. I mean, you're seeing it under severe weather but uh, yeah, really pretty structure, isn't it? Looks like a version of the White House or something. We all leave. We all die. But it's what we do while we're here that defines us in the name. Every day is a memory, and it's up to us to make the most out of it. Yo, I finally got a brand new pair of the shoes that were stolen from me almost two years ago. So if you've been watching my other channel, Hunting the Dead, you'll know that I have a stalker and that stalker stole these shoes off my porch a couple years ago. Well, I was in Florida and a few days ago, I came across this pair that's pretty much like new. I mean, these are old shoes. These are basically vintage now. And I bought them because I was so happy when I got these a long time ago. Then when they were stolen from me, I was like, oh, hell no. But it won't ever happen again now. Will it be, baby? 
I'm gonna make love to these shoes. I'm gonna make pure love to these shoes. Oh, yes, I am. It's really a dope sneaker, man. Like, look at the accents and, like, the silver and the plating at the bottom and the sole. But then you got a little splash of color right here. Got the Nike logo on the toe box, which you don't see too often. But look at all that fiber optic shit going on in there. Even the laces got those little retro dots on them. Charles Barkley, baby. And then they're signed on the inside, on the inside of the tongue. So guess what, Mr. Stalker? You didn't get me. My dreams will continue to flourish. Well, you'll just be having nightmares in your stupid little tent. <laughs> Here's some new pickups right here. We got Little Dead Rotting Hood. Uh, we got Don't Hang Up. We got Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2. I, I've seen most, almost all these, but I got the variant of Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2 because it's all on one disc. That's pretty cool. You don't even have to get up out of the bed. Let's just make it a Jeepers Creepers night. Uh, we got The Hills Have Eyes. Seen it a million times. The Curse of Robert. I haven't seen that yet, but I'm looking forward to checking it out. House of the Dead. I absolutely love that movie. We got Croc. C Beast and Shark Swarm all on one DVD and we got Trailer Park of Terror. So this is the part you usually don't see in these vlogs is me working and you don't see me actually getting out filming uh, the videos from my other channel but as I'm editing right now I'm just making sure that like I don't capture like any EVPs and if I do I would put that in. Also, do you see anybody in the background? If I if I did, I would zoom into it. And a lot of the times I don't, but that's why I have to watch what I filmed. I have to edit the videos thoroughly to make sure that we don't miss anything cool. So if you pre-order my new movie, Mallet, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get a signed copy of the DVD. We have signed so far 2,200 DVDs. You guys have been killing it on the pre-orders. Don't stop now. And if you order one copy, order another one for a friend. Order another one for your lover, for your mother, for your father, for your brother, for your sister, for the mister around the corner. Order, order, order now. Get your signed copies only if you pre-order. So, yo, these G.I. Joe clamshell cases just finally came today. This whole box is filled with them. And this is what the vintage G.I. Joes look like when you put them in here. These cases are so cool because you can keep the G.I. Joes in good condition. You can pack them with their weapons. They're easier to sell in the store. And that's pretty much what we're getting ready for. So basically, you can just put them in here, slap a price on the corner of the blister, and then bam, they're packaged to sell that way. Here's a little snag that is for sale right now for $200 if anybody out there is interested. This is a Takashi 69 signed by Takashi 69 Pokemon card, graded in hard casing. Uh, this is going to go up in value, so definitely if you're interested, just go ahead and send me a message on the Retro Rewear Facebook. Ooh, or maybe you want that for your collection. Maybe you collect Pokemon cards and you want something signed. You don't got a dugong, right? Well, check this out. You can get Michael Haney, the voice actor himself from the American Pokemon series, signature on this Pokemon card, graded for $125 right now. Just send me an email at toyhustlers at gmail.com if you're interested in this card. Back in Georgia, ladies and gentlemen, this is what it looks like. Oh my good lord. Yeah, this is, uh, this is bad, man. This is real bad. That looks like the wrath of God rolling in here right now. What's that? No idea. That better not drop on me when I roll under that fucking thing. What the hell? Whoa! Oh my god. Oh my god, it looks terrible. Like, there's definitely going to be a, a tornado spawning any moment now, guys. I can feel it. Oh, daddy's got some chicken wings. There's only one thing I like eating more than chicken wings. I just want to know, would you guys hit this? Let me know, would you hit this? Hashtag, I would hit that, Jody. Hashtag, I would hit that. Or would you hit this? I want to know, would you rather hit the honey mustard wings or would you rather hit the gold rush? Tell me, would you dip it? Would you stick it in your mouth? Let me know. All right, here we go. Looks like a pretty good one right there. Should I hit that first? 
give him a little tip. All right, here, there we go. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. At the bowling alley, man, getting ready to turn up. Are they too big on you? Kinda. All right, if you need some others, you can get some others, okay? Yeah. I'll pick out my balls. No. Let's see. Fingers in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's my kind of ball right there. Y'all might not know this man, but I am one hell of a bowler. Everybody's about to get peanut butter and jellies right now. Who be on next one? Who be on next one? One. Oh, my boy, straight from the gutter, boy. This lane is absolutely rigged. I'm losing right now. It's got to be rigged. She got one. She got one, but I didn't get one. She got one. I just want to know. Do you want to go, bro? You want to go? All right, fine. We. No, 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 no. We can go. You want to go? He's got this look in his eyes right now. Like, oh, I'm going to beat my dad. Not going to happen. So once again, we're hanging out in an arcade. This is a new arcade. We just found out about this place. This place has a bowling alley in here. They have an arcade. They have food. They have a bar. This is like the super date night place. However, we're here with Jay, man. Our son Anthony today having a good time. I'm going to go hit this punching thing real quick. Not bad. All right, guys, we just got home from having a super fun day, but I swung by the warehouse and I grabbed a few things out. I wanted to share with you guys real quick that are going to be going to our store when we open. Uh, this is an old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, vintage toy carrying case. Now, the cool thing is, is it's completely filled with complete Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, they have all their weapons. It's basically almost a complete set here. There is a ton of money sitting there. And this has just been sitting in my storage for, God, almost 10 years now. Then in this huge box right here, it's filled with He-Man, Masters of the Universe, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Star Wars, Mask Figures, Starcom, uh, every thing from the 80s you can imagine 80s some early 90s some bootleg super rare stuff there's probably no exaggeration um seven to ten thousand dollars worth of action figures in this huge box right here i mean there's just this is the vintage stuff okay first off these aren't those retro repops that you're seeing in the store right now. This is the real deal. Even the stone protectors, I don't know if you guys remember these, got some of these. Uh oh, look at her, she's pretty fly. You guys probably don't know about this, Centurions. I really was into these when I was a kid. Super dope action figures, I love these. Oh, look at that right there, got some Thundercatage. Okay, so I'm only halfway through the box and look at all these vintage Masters of the Universe, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Mego Hulk, big money there. And then you come over here, still half full. And look at this, a sealed uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles turtle cookies. You wonder how those things would taste. I wanna know in the comments below, would you try those cookies? I'm not gonna let you try them because I can't pop the seal on it. That's super rare, but would you try some cookies from the early 90s? Probably not. You would? Yeah. Are you serious? I wouldn't let you do that. That would be bad. Look at that, guys. An old He-Man coin bank. And it's worth some... <gasps> Wait, what did you just find? Ooh, it's an old Godzilla. 
Bro, whoa, I forgot that I even had this. Dude, I bought so many collections from people that I don't even know what all I have in the warehouse. This is one box out of like 50 boxes. We got some street sharks here, what? Another street shark right here. These things go for really good money. If you have them sealed in the package, even bigger money. Are we still not even to the bottom of this thing? That is crazy. Yo, whoa, whoa. What is this? Oh, it's like a little window thing right here. Heroes in a half shell. I mean, that's a super collectible. Vintage black Power Ranger right here. Yo, be very careful with that. You wanna know what this is? This is from Jace and the Wheeled Warriors. I named you Jace because of this series I watched when I was a kid. This is super rare. Like, you take it, take it. Like, like if you can find one of these sealed, it really belongs in a museum, not in your collection. Jace just pulled out this 1989 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles yo-yo. That's a big deal. Right there, got a vintage Yellow Ranger. All right, so all that came out of this box. And then it still got a lot left in here. Oh, you went and grabbed that? You yeah. got the crane? <laughs> yeah. I've actually got the big one of that that goes for big dog money. Not to mention the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle vehicles. I got uh, I got the Rebel right here. You guys might remember this 1980 piece right here. Did you guys have any of these toys when you were younger? Were you into any of this stuff? Let me know in the comment section below. When my retro store opens, it's going to be insane because one cool thing about all the collections I've bought over the years is I'm very particular. I'm very meticulous. I know so much about so many things that were out in the 80s, things that did good, things that didn't do good. So I've been very careful and I'm super active in trying to find the best merchandise that I would like to have. You know, up until now, I've pretty much just sat on this stuff because it's like stock. It's just went up, it never goes down. The older it gets, the more money it's worth. And to be honest with you guys, a lot of this stuff I probably found at like yard sales back in the day. Watch this, look at that, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. I've bought a lot of collections off people over the years from sneakers to vintage toy collections, vintage video game collections, record collections. So when the store opens, it's going to have an intricate selection of stuff. All right, I guess that's it for this video, guys. Smash that thumbs up, comment below, share this on social media. I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting the channel here. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. And just remember, roses are red, violets are blue, I love the scream scene, and so do you. I'll see you guys on the next one.